Uh, there are so many folks these days that uh, have millions and millions of followers online and they'll post videos or podcasts or whatever it is that they post and they'll get you know, 50,000 people seeing it on a regular basis and then they get their ad revenue check at the end of the month and it's 50 bucks. And that sucks. Artists deserve to be paid more than that. I started Pomplamoose with my wife. We created our own YouTube channel. We bought Pomplamoose.com and we started posting uh, videos and music under the name Pomplamoose. And we did that, let's see, that was 2008. So we did that for a few years and we actually were like doing pretty well. We were going on tour and playing massive venues and uh, we were getting a bunch of iTunes downloads uh, and kind of cobbling together various revenue streams to to make it work. We were in the very early first wave of people that were using YouTube to, to reach other uh, musicians and, and, and fans. And eight years ago, the, the monetization uh, uh, methods for creators were just totally broken. And I remember looking up from this feeling like there's there's got to be a better way for creative people who are reaching millions of people online uh, to make a living from that. I have a snapshot from my uh, from my 2014 dashboard on YouTube where you know it had a million views in a month and it translated to $166 of ad earnings. New Year's Eve 2012 to 2013, I sketched out this idea for a music video that involved robots that would be playing music with me. And um, at some point in the middle here, I decided to build a replica of Millennium Falcon cockpit behind us. So we were all hanging out playing uh, electronic music together in front of the Millennium Falcon cockpit. And at some point in the middle of this video, I had that same sinking feeling that I had years before because I could see the next three months right in front of me. I knew I would upload this video to YouTube and I knew it would get a million views and I knew that I would get paid a couple hundred bucks for it. Meanwhile, I was taking daily trips to Home Depot and racking up bills on my credit card. I maxed out, I think, two credit cards along the way. And it was this horror. I'm laughing about it now, but it was a terrible, terrifying, sinking feeling. And, and the real dark moment for me was not, oh gosh, poor me, uh, I, you know, I'm not going to get paid for my video. It was, holy shit, all of these people who are doing this like, like I am. Podcasters to journalists to video creators um, are in this same sinking ship of lowering digital CPMs, of getting millions of views and not getting paid for it. And that's when I drew out this idea for, for this website. Originally it started as a website for me. <laughs> it was, okay fans, you know what I'm doing. What if you pay me five bucks a month so that I can keep doing it? So I sketched out this idea on, on 14 pieces, pieces of printer paper. I uh, gave it to Sam Yam. Sam Yam was my roommate in college, serial entrepreneur, um, had started a bunch of companies and seemed like the perfect person to, to work with. So he was the only person uh, writing any code. So he was building all these features, answering customer service. We needed help. Uh, it was more than we were able to, to keep up with. We decided to raise money. We raised uh, two, a little over two million bucks um, from a couple different VC firms. Yeah, you can imagine, it's a little weird for me because I'm uh, an artist <laughs> and um, never built a business before. And I find myself across the table from venture capitalists uh, pitching them on Patreon. So six years later, Patreon is a little over 200 folks. We are gonna send half a billion dollars this year to creative people in over 100 countries around the world from over three million paying members um, who are in almost every country around the world. Those folks are paying on average somewhere around 11 or 12 bucks a month um, to the creators that they support. It's still very hard I mean, not, not a lot has changed in terms of what it, um, what it feels like. It feels like pushing a boulder up a hill. And there's like three moments a week where you think, uh, well, I guess we're fucked. I guess this is it. <laughs> um, and that, that like never goes away, at least for, for people like me. And I think that's, you know, if you're really passionate about something, um, you kind of retain that feeling over time. So it's always a little bit scary. And at the same time, it's definitely the most rewarding thing I've ever done in my life. And it's fun. It's really fun to be sending creative people paychecks every month. Honestly, it's kind of a dream come true. 